welcome to Chad Silversmithing. Um, today we're going to do a project video and since it's kind of the beginning of the summer and things are getting sort of sunny, I thought it might be nice to make a little sun pendant uh, in a style that I've made over the years that people seem to like. So let's get started. What we're going to need first is uh, some kind of center stone that's roundish. Um, I, a lot of times I like to use amber or uh, citrine or something yellow like that. Uh, at this time I found a little dichroic glass uh, that's got this intense yellow color to it. So I'm going to use that. Um, and our first step is going to be making the bezel for that. Um, so we're going to need some bezel material. And in this case I'm going to use 3 16 inch bezel, which I use for most things. Uh, for the bale, we're going to need um, a piece of 26 gauge sheet, a little rectangle, and this is 22 gauge sterling silver wire. And then I'll need a little piece of 26 gauge uh, sterling silver sheet for the back. And then this is actually 16 gauge round wire. And uh, I just made it from 14 gauge wire using the uh, draw plate that I have over behind me. Soon there will be a video telling you about draw plates and what they're for. So uh, at that point I'll probably put a card here so you can click on it. Alright, this is going to be the rays for the, uh, for the sun itself. But let's get started on the bezel first. So that's like half an inch, so let's see each one of these an inch for the first One of the things I'm going to do, I'm going to be making four of these slightly longer than the other four. But I have four for the for the long ones that I'm going to use, and then I have a spare that's the same size in case I screw one up. Because after these are bent and shaped, it'll be harder to use them to measure an extra piece. Now, these ones I'm going to do just a tiny bit shorter, maybe about that much shorter. You can see that. There's my backup of the shorter one. Next, I think let's. 
center here of these guys. Close enough. First step I'm going to do on all of these is file a 45 degree notch in so I can bend them a little bit more sharply in the center there. Little smaller pieces there. So for the, this is one of the longer ones. I'm going to start bending it sharply that way. So then I'm going to take the other side. So we end up with that kind of a shape. Then I'm going to grab this end here on the shorter one. swirl shape like that. And I'm going to do that on all eight of these here. So I'll probably speed this one up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to pull this a little bit closer here so I can get a better look at it. The thing that I always do is I, I get the waves going the wrong direction. So for these ones, I want them all going in the same direction with the point curling up that way. So, so far so good, I might need to do a little bit of filing on these guys, so I'm going to file these guys a little flatter.
smaller ones just right off the bat. Well, for these ones, instead of having this, this swirl going this way, I'm going to flip them over so they went in the opposite direction. Just to give it a little more random randomness to the pattern. It's just opposite the way those other ones were facing. Well, that's the basic idea. I think I need to squeeze some of these down just a little bit more so they're, there's a little more room on the outside of this bezel to do it. So I'm going to spend a little time getting those a little narrower. So I have just a little more room to play with. Okay, I think that gives me a little more room to play with there. So now I just have to start pick soldering these on. And so I'm going to do, uh, I guess there's eight things, so there's going to be 16 spots I'm going to pick solder here. So let's make sure I have plenty of solder there. Always dropping little pieces off the end of the pick, so you almost always need more than you think. I'm sprinkle a whole bunch of those on there so I don't run This is always a good time to check the integrity of your solder joints here. So, most of them look good. I'm a little questionable about this one right there and this one here. I don't think those are on there very good. So, I'm going to go back and reflux it and hit that again right here just to make sure they're on there good. Never hurts to be sure. Nobody wants one of their son's rays to fall off after you sell this piece to somebody. How embarrassing would that be? Alright, so got the basic sun shape made. I'll find that 16 gauge wire. So I'm going to use a piece of this. I'm going to make a little jump ring out of this. Try and figure out which way the sun looks the coolest to me. I think like that probably. So this is going to be my top right here. So I'm going to solder that shut and then hook the ring right there, and then we'll make a little bail for it. Good, so we're going to throw him in the pickle for a little bit. In the meantime, use this piece of 26 gauge sheet and this 22 gauge wire here. First, let's get it a little flatter and straighter. 
This is a relatively small pendant, so I may cut this little piece of sheet slightly shorter. see that I got it in a teardrop shape. This isn't fully cleaned up nor does it need to be at this stage. But I can just pop this through there. Make sure it's lined up right. I'm going to make sure this is pushing together tightly. solder that closed and then we'll be ready to leave it sit for a little while in the pickle. Clean up a little bit. Let that sit for a bit and then I'll uh, clean it up with a Dremel, set the stone, and then I will polish it and I'll show you the final result. Now we just need to set this stone here. I did a little bit of cleanup on the Dremel. Okay, time to do a little polishing.
Okay, there it is after polishing. Just need to scrub it off with a little bit of soapy hot water and that'll get rid of the polishing compound and then we'll have a nice little sun pendant. So very summery. Um, so if you enjoyed this, uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd like this video. And if you learned something from it, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you enjoyed it, I would appreciate it if you would share it with somebody else. So uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate your interest. I love comments or suggestions or uh, especially suggestions for what you'd like to see. Um, so give me some ideas and uh, I'll try to make those happen. So thanks again and uh, happy silversmithing.